Hey guys, what's up? Sherry here from Noplex Giving Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a Divine Masculine reading for uh, July the 29th until August the 6th. I apologize for getting this out too late. I've had a massive migraine for three days and haven't been able to get rid of it. Um, so I'm also a little late on private readings. I will have those to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, so hopefully no later by Monday. Okay, so um, I'm doing crystal ball, which represents, is a 5x5 five five grid. Uh, so it's a snapshot of this moment. So um, it's a distant past, recent past, present, near future, and um, outcome card or outcome rose. Uh, there's going to be four cards or four cornerstone cards, which represent the main energies of the reading and then one center card which is the main message from the universe okay so I'm going to be using my cards all right beginning with the distant past the first cornerstone card is the knight of wands okay so this is a movement forward this is uh, has to do with living your true authentic life and you know being on the spiritual path so there was a moment in the distant past where you you know, made a decision to move forward um, towards that thing that you feel passionate about, that that drives you. Um, so, yeah, it's a decision to move forward on your fiery horse of passion there. Okay, so next, star card. So this is the hope card. Uh, it means wish granted. Your wishes came true um, this is a hope card as well so it means that you've been through a very difficult time and it's a time of healing uh, so it's a self-love and hope for the future that you know things will turn out great your, your wishes are coming true I want them to kind of lean forward a little bit so you can see them okay so next is the hangman. So we got two major arcanas and a court card, so that could be a fire sign. Um, so the hangman represents seeing things from a different perspective, um, but it's also letting go of control and surrendering. So it means that there's significant things that have changed in your life, and instead of trying to control the situation, you surrender to it. You allow destiny to guide you. Um, but it's also, you know, just allowing your intuition to guide you as well. Okay, so next page of cups that showed up in the past position for the masculine in the twin flame reading. Okay, so um, communication of love. You know, this is wanting to start a connection or a love relationship with somebody. Um, so you know there, that full manifestation of the connection hasn't happened yet it's a desire to to make it happen this is Scott Pilgrim from um, Scott Pilgrim <laughs> uh, yeah it's uh, you know that one girl being unable to stop thinking about this person and wanting to pursue it so um, while this masculine has been in a state of surrender um, you know, and healing, he could have been communicating with the feminine in the past um, or desired to communicate. Or it could be that he's following his heart as well. Final cornerstone card for the distant past. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Um, so this is manifestation of all of your hard work. It's harvest. It is like an arrival, completion. Um, so this is a long-term goal being manifested, having abundance in your life, not having to worry about money, surrounding yourself with love, friends. Okay, so it's a cornerstone card. This is what he desires. This is what he's been moving towards. You know, it's towards love, towards the thing that makes him feel loved and alive and like he's on the right spiritual paths. You know, and he wants to manifest that into his 3D reality. So for some, this could mean um, 
a reunion or union for some twins. Um, but he has this vision in his mind and that's what's driving him. So recent past position, divine feminine, beautiful. Okay, so this tells me that this change in perspective has opened his consciousness. Um, when he thinks of, you know, the feminine, he thinks of her as the goddess of love, someone who's grounded. Um, you know, this is the empress. Uh, it's very, it, it's earth energy. She's the mother earth. Uh, she births uh, creations into the 3D. So she's a manifester as well. So it's in the recent past. Um, so that means that he recognizes you as, um, you know, this divine car counterpart. Um, so he sees you as a goddess. Next, judgment, another major arcana, jeez. Um, so, oops, yeah, that's right. Okay, so this is um, the grand awakening, realizing that your entire life has just been a movie projected on the screen in your own mind. Uh, so it's also realizing that you have the ability to create, you know, a new life, all right? So it's a rebirth, an epiphany, an awakening, and it has to do with the divine feminine. I apologize if you can hear kids playing outside. One moment. Sorry about that. Okay, so let me just give it a quick shuffle here. Okay, so yeah, um, it's an awakening, an epiphany that has to do with the divine feminine. There is this awareness. Okay, next. Wow, the Fool card, another major arcana. Uh, so this is taking a leap of faith. So after this rebirth, you know, it's kind of cool how the feminine, uh, the empress represents someone who is pregnant. Okay, and this is like the rebirth. It's coming out. It's a new life. And then the Fool card is a baby. It, it's like... You know, looking at life through a child's eyes, this innocent, pure perspective, um, free of attachments, free of expectations, just taking that leap of faith. So, yeah, it's starting from zero. Next, the base chakra, feeling safe, secure, grounded, you know, to taking that leap of faith and it's almost like a seed is planted. Um, he feels safe and secure in his decision uh, and you know um, that foundation is grounded, that new start is grounded. Okay, next two of pentacles. Uh, so that's taking that seed and growing it. You know the two of pentacles represents change, significant change and feeling a little off balance and it could represent feeling pulled in two different directions but it's really that that you know decision to take a leap of faith is now being manifested into his 3d reality but it does it makes him feel a little insecure okay so present moment the four of pentacles this card showed up twice in the tw twin flame reading so this is you being closed off not allowing the feminine in, not expressing yourself, not sharing your emotions. Um, you know, just, um, yeah, being closed off in the 3D. Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. So this is being through battles. You feel like you need to heal yourself. Uh, you have wounds and scars from the past, and so you're feeling a bit vulnerable, a bit defensive, perhaps. And that's the reason for being closed off. This card also represents um, spiritual strength. At the core of you, you're not going to give up. You have the power to continue on, but there's a sense, you know, that you want to give up. Um, but you won't. Nine is nearing the completion of that. Wow, strength card. This is the center point card. So this is the message from the universe. Um, so I'm almost feeling like the universe is giving you a gentle nudge, encouragement to continue. 
um, in this the main message is to use love, kindness, and compassion in dealing with all situations. It's transmuting a negative situation into something loving and positive. Okay, so these two cards are negative. You know, you're, you know, placing too much importance on the four D, or sorry, the three D world, and closing yourself off in the three D, and then feeling this exhaustion. You know, like you've. Um, really been carrying a lot of burdens and you know so there's a, a focus on self here so the the attention needs to be turned in taming that beast that you know uh, animalistic nature that tells you to either close off or fight the fight or flight response you know so it's again transmuting using alchemy to change an environment. Okay. The sun card, another major arcana. <clears throat> so this means, uh, like it's the most positive major arcana in the deck. It's the most positive uh, card in the deck, period. It's a new beginning. It's a return to innocence, very similar like the full card. It's excitement, enthusiasm, just really enjoying life, freedom. Um, again, a new beginning. Okay, and then next is Seven of Pentacles, waiting. So this is a gestation, pregnant pause, reevaluation. So you're waiting for something, um, and while you're waiting, uh, there's a, f a sense of healing still happening. You've taken a leap of faith in order to start a new life, but you're you're doing it for yourself. You're doing it um, so that you can heal yourself. And uh, like I said, self-love. So Seven of Pentacles. This could also represent the feminine waiting. This card showed up um, on the feminine side. Prominent energy in Twin Flame readings. Okay, so Near Future, Six of Swords. So this is making a decision to walk away from negativity, negative ideas, negative thinking, negative people, but it's finally making that decision. And so it's, a, you know, you're starting a new life. Okay, so it's a near future position. Next, justice. So, you know, you feel justified. Um, Maybe you've already left the situation and um, you're waiting for a, either a ruling or, um, you know, this means that karma is coming back to you in a good way. Whatever you've done in the past, you know, cause and effect, um, you know, karma will come back to you in a good way. So I see a split, you know, and it could be you from a karmic relationship. You know, in a twin flame reading, you are going through major changes, heavy, heavy energy. Um, so, if you walk away from a negative situation, you know, it is justified. Karma has your back, basically. Everything will work out fine. Next, the, wow, the moon card. So, this card showed up in your near future as well for the twin flame reading. So, this is dealing with something that you've been not dealing with that you've been you know pushing down ignoring so th these are hidden things it's also the, the shadow side uh so you got to face your fears head on um so you are in the sun now um you are looking after yourself but the, like i said there's still something in the future that you need to deal with next two of swords again so this was a final outcome card as well as the distant past card in the twin flame reading. So it's making a decision. In the twin flame reading, the ace of swords was the last card. So a decision will be made. But you're at a crossroads right now. You don't know which way to choose. Right? Cognitive dissonance. Okay? But you are choosing to face your fears and actually um, take, you know, take that step. You made the choice in the past to take a leap of faith okay but it's there's a sense that you haven't done that yet you've closed yourself off you've paused things okay and there's you need to walk down that path 
and face your fears. Wow, the Ace of Wands. So this showed up for the final come for the feminine. Okay, so this is a brand new life, brand new beginning. The, the fool carries Ace of Wands in their hand as, that, as they start that new life, take that leap of faith. Okay, so this is an epiphany, a kundalini awakening. This represents that, that golden thread connecting the crown chakra to source. So from this darkness is this spark of life, this new beginning. So it's like, you know, I like the choice here, you know, to <clears throat> go down a road of pain and fear and unknowing darkness or choose that road of inspiration, happiness, enlightenment, and authenticity. Okay, so final outcome, cornerstone card, four of cups. So this is stagnation, boredom, feeling like things aren't moving fast enough. So it's a major energy. Okay, so either you feel this way or the feminine feels this way, but there's a sense of you kind of turning your back uh, on the connection. And I see that here in your present moment. Uh, so, and also with the Two of Swords, the inability to really fully release something once and for all. Um, so, yeah. It's feeling out of control as well. You know, maybe you're waiting for a decision to be, be made, and because it's not being made, you know, you feel out of control. I don't know. Okay, next. The Ten of Wands. So another 10, you got two 10s in the reading. So let's just go through this, okay? So this Knight of Swords is movement towards something that you've been working on, something that you've begun, okay? Um, the Page of Cups is desiring a new loving connection. The 10 reduces to one, it's a completion arrival. Um, then we have the Fool card, another beginning. The Judgment is a rebirth. Um, the Sun card is a new beginning as well, okay? Uh, and then the Ace of Wands, new beginning. So the Ten of Swords, or sorry, sorry, the Ten of Wands is a completion. So major, major things happening in your world right now. Uh, the Ten of Wands is being caught in the machine. So it's working day in, day out. And I love the progression here, how we got the Nine of Wands, which progress, progresses into the Ten, so it's an ending of this feeling and the same synchronicity happened in the twin flame reading uh there was a nine of swords in the past which turns into a ten of swords okay so um from this ending is that new beginning okay eight of swords uh so this is a self-imposed prison of the mind you know feeling like you're locked out you can't move forward with something. It's impressive energy coming from the outside. Uh, so it's a belief that you are unable to break free. It's interesting how it's below the moon and this two of swords indecision. Uh, but you know, since that 10 is there, I feel that you release yourself from this prison, from the stagnation. Wow, third eye chakra, yeah, baby. So the feminine got this card twice on in the twin flame reading. Um, so you're getting it as a final outcome. So the message from the universe here really is to use your intuition, listen to your heart, listen to your inner knowing, um, and it won't steer you wrong, right? So it's an, an awakening, illumination that I see here out of this darkness, out of this um you know prison and machine okay so final cornerstone card page of swords so this is a double communicator um so this uh you know pages of messages swords communication so it's truthful open honest communication knowing your truth expressing your truth so um, this is making a decision, another very cool synchronicity. You make that choice to release yourself. It's mental clarity. It is illumination, awakening. You release yourself from that prison. 
you made that decision to um, continue on that journey, that journey you started so long ago, but then stopped. All right, so I was just noticing um, after the Twin Flame reading, I looked at the bottom of the deck and serendipity was there, so I thought that was kind of cool. So I'm going to pull two cards from the message from the universe. Or actually, sorry, one card from the message from the universe. So what final message do you have for the masculine collective? Yang. Neat. And it's number one. Okay, so the meaning, the masculine principle of movement and creativity, or sorry, creative activity, the power to make things happen, taking action. So the oracle message, Yang represents the power of action, the energies that propel the world forward and manifesting thought and desire into concrete form. Now is the perfect time to act for you can easily build momentum and make headway. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed uh, confidently. This card signifies new life and is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. Wow, that is exactly what's going on here in the reading. It's like you've already overcome the obstacles. Okay, you've surrendered. Um, and now it's time to move forward. You know, you're in this state of inaction, okay? So face your fears and make that decision to walk down that path, okay? Whatever happened in the past is the past. Turn within and really listen to your own intuition, your heart, and make that decision. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Much love.